You're watching WCCO Mid Morning with Jason DeRussia and Kylie Verse. Now we're talking. Yeah. those soups. Today we have 10 hours and 45 minutes of daylight. Exactly. Not by, that you're counting. I know. By this time next week, you can shave 15 more minutes from that. Aww. Oh, I know. Okay, don't feel too down about it, all right? We are going to talk with an expert about some ways you can get energized this time of year that involve more than just sunlight. And the light. As we move into fall, it can be kind of that time of year. Your energy starts to drain a little bit. You're losing that fun, like, summer high that you had. Right. The days are getting shorter, yeah. less sunshine. So today we're getting some tips on how to energize yourself for fall. Dr. Felicia Stoller is the author of Living Skinny in Fat Jeans. She's also a registered dietitian and an exercise physiologist. And we're so happy to have you with us on mid-morning. Thank you. Okay, let's start with food because food <laughs> is a key part of this, I think. What you eat kind of is how you feel. And so... You have some That's do's right. and don'ts. So I brought some foods that are high in fiber. So you think about eating foods that have low glycemic um, index foods. So not eating sort of those refined sugars, but eating foods such as apples, sweet potatoes, carrots, beans. Quinoa is a great substitution. Oh, yeah. The typical American diet should have at least 27 grams of fiber per day. Yeah. And most people don't get enough. So what I wanted to bring in just to show you is a brand new product that just launched called Regular Girl, which is a prebiotic and probiotic supplement. And these little grab and go sticks are fantastic. Because We've heard a lot about probiotics, about right. trying to get so the, uh, good, the gut bacteria good right. Good gut bacteria, that's right. It's important for your immune system and also just good to help everything go, right? It's like giving your colon a workout. So, you know, I think it's terrific and it's nice that it's a gluten-free product because that's a problem that is, for a lot of people. That is a phrase I did not expect to hear during this segment. Gluten-free okay. or? No, no. That was not, nope, that, not that one. 